Hi, I'm Andre. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a physics based revolving door. So let's see how it works. So we have this door that uh, rotates around a point and if I push it, it lets me pass through and, and it stops rotating after a while. And I can also affect it using physics objects like you see here. I've also built a um, detector. So when you check this, if I approach it, it starts rotating by itself. And then if I get further away, it stops. And it also lets me pass through like this. So let's see how we can uh, implement this. So let's create an actor. And we'll create the structure of the door. So for that, we'll just use cubes and scale them. And just duplicate this one and rotate it 90 degrees like that. Okay, so we also have to make a container for these because they have to be one one uh, object. So we'll just add a cube like this, and uh, will be this will be the central hub. So we'll call this door, and we'll scale this down like this, and then. The cubes that we did before, we're actually gonna make a child of this hub. So now the whole door, even if it's made out of uh, different meshes, it's gonna be represented by this uh, mesh right here. Okay, so in order to make it rotate around the point, we'll use a physics constraint. So let's create that also. So we'll parent this to the actor directly, not to the door. So we'll call this door axis, like that. And we we'll just put the second component. The first component will be blank. So we'll pair, it will uh, grab onto the actor. And the second one will put door here. And we'll see that only this component has been uh, linked, but the others are child children of this, so they will move together. Uh, now here, uh, the linear limits for the constraint will leave locked. Uh, the angular limits will lock everything and just unlock the swing one motion. As you'll see, is the rotation in the horizontal plane. So this is it for the physics constraint. Now let's look at the uh, so we'll have to simulate physics for the door, only for the door, not for the other ones, because they are connected to it. And we'll have to put the collision presets here to physics actor for all of them. So they can we can uh, uh, manipulate them like this. So this should work. Let's try it out. So we'll have to drag it up a bit so it doesn't intersect the earth. So sorry about that. So if I push it, when I right click and apply the force, as you can see, it rotates. So it already works. Now, if we wanted to, as you can see, if we apply a force, it doesn't stop. So in order to do that, we're going to go to the physics constraint and add an angular motor and twist and swing here and we'll actually add a target velocity of zero on the z-axis. So we'll check swing here and zero and we'll put this the strength to two. So if you want uh, the friction to... Uh, so this will simulate the friction with the air. So it, if you want this to be stronger, put this higher, strength higher. So let's try again. So if I right click it rotates and then it stops. And same thing if I put an object, rotates and it stops. So if I, if I push it, 
it stops them. Now let's put it um, instead of this one, although it doesn't really matter actually. So now let's make the, the detector. So for the detector, what we'll do is we'll add a box collision here. We'll Cut this detector like that. And we'll add here at the bottom a variable uh, for to be active or not. So uh, active detector. So this detector will make the door rotate um, by itself when we uh, enter it. So we'll also need a rotation speed for that. So we'll put rotation speed like this and we'll put this to a float. Now the rotation will be in rotations per second so we'll just put this to 0 0.2 and this will make visible will make a uh, public actually so we can change it from the editor okay so if we select the detector right here we'll see on the bottom we'll see on component beginning overlap and end overlap so we'll create these two like this so now when an object enters we activate the rotation and when it leaves we deactivate it so we're actually going to do this only for the phys uh, the character if you want you can make it work for the other objects also so on the actor here we'll do a cast to character like this so that means that only the character will be taken into account and before that actually we'll actually have to uh, get this and branch here so we'll say if the detector is activated then we do this so it's gonna be actually let's do this first so here what we'll actually do is we'll get go into the physics constraint and change the speed the target velocity of uh, the door right here so for that we're going back to the uh, begin overlap event and we'll take our physics constraint and we'll say angular target velocity Just set angular target velocity like this and here we'll split the input so since we only have rotation on the z-axis we'll take our rotation speed and we'll connect it to that so for this one we copy everything and just just connect the actor here and we'll say here we'll just to delete the rotation speed because we want it to be at zero so it's it acts as a uh, the uh, the friction with the air okay so this should work let's try again well we have to resize the cube the box collision our detector and we'll see here 100 well we can make it whatever size but let's say 250 so this will be in each direction so it's 500 actually across like this well here we'll just put 100 doesn't matter so if we try this again we'll just so let's try this again like this so it doesn't work because it's not, it's not activated so if we activate it here and we enter the area of detection it should work that's weird okay let's see why it doesn't work like this yes so it doesn't work because here 
when we set the angular velocity actually it does uh, it does set it but uh, the object is sleeping so we'll take the door from here and we'll s say wake rigid body like this so yeah when you do stuff like this remember this one because it's you get a headache if you if you don't know what's happening so here we don't need it because it's already rotating so when we stop it we probably don't need this so if I go again it will try to it will start to rotate but as you can see it's the other way around so usually it's on the right so we'll put this rotation speed here to minus 0.2 As you can see it works and if I if I get further away then it stops so yeah that's kind of it if you want to change the properties of the door um, let's say it's more resistant to uh, influence from outside objects like this one as you can see when I pushed it it uh, it was easily influenced so if you don't want that what you can do is uh, either put here the strength uh, higher for the, the friction with the air. But actually what you want to do is um, raise the mass of the door. So the mass of these other objects won't count. It's only the mass of this one. Well, you're going to have a static mesh probably for the whole door. So it, you're not concerned just follow this one static mesh so here have a mass on one kilos if we put a hundred kilos like this actually see that it should be uh, uh, let's look again at that so if you if you put the mass higher it will uh, get influenced by other objects a lot less so let's put this to a thousand, let's say. Yes. So as you can see, it it's influenced less. And of course here, you can also block it. And let's say here, if you want to block it into a certain position then you will set a target orientation so we'll disable the speed and set a target orientation and set a force for that orientation so that uh, will if essentially close it uh, well actually it will block it in a certain position so that's it if you've liked this tutorial and thought it was useful please like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video